I don't know, man, you know what I mean? If you don't sit there going, I like my shirt, how come shirts aren't free? True. You know, how come uh, cameras like this aren't free? You know what I mean? Yeah. We don't expect that, do we? No. Everyone should have a free hat, the sun's shining. We don't expect that. But somehow people can say, oh, well, music should be free. Well, show me something else that's free. Yeah. Where's free food? I mean, if they could put air in tins, believe me, you'd be buying tins of air to breathe. You know what I mean? They just can't fucking package it. If they could, you know what I mean? You'd be paying for it. So we don't expect free petrol, do we? No. We don't expect to be given a free car. Why should why should it just apply to music? I always found that radically kind of um, misinformed and illogical. I mean, well, the sun's bad for your eyes, so everyone should have free sunglasses. You'd get laughed out of court, wouldn't you, if you suggested that? So, free underwear. I don't know, you know what I mean? What? What should be free? You should, should, what should be free is you should be allowed to think what you think, because no one can change that anyway, you know what I mean? Mm. But we don't even have free speech in the world. You shouldn't be allowed to, you know, gratuitously insult people and hurt their feelings, you know, so there's, there's limitations on the extent to which we're free to speak our mind and, you know, to a certain extent quite rightly, uh, nothing's free, man, you know, uh, in this world. So the, I think that the, the demand that music should be free ignores the base reality is, is that musicians need to eat. Mm. You know, now, whether musicians need to eat to the extent of earning hundreds of millions of dollars a year, that's another issue, but the, the call for free music is illogical, yeah. in my book, anyway. Yeah. Now, um, oh. now, free love, that's free, a whole other... Free love. That's a whole other... Uh, there's plenty of that. Of fish. And there's plenty of that going on in that book, too. It was fantastic. Um, Those were the days. You see, what I did was, man, I, oh, I personally, right, I only ever worked with people that I felt that I loved. I never worked for anybody that I didn't love. Love their music and love them as people. I mean, to this day, I love all the people I work with, man. They're all great people. They all treated me pretty fairly, whether they paid me or not. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't work for people that I didn't love. That, that was my kind of version of the 60s dream. Mm. Go for what you love and, and be, you know, be, what's the word? open to anything who knows which way the wind will blow go for it you know and uh, so if you treat people well and you love them there's no reason why they shouldn't love you back is there no you know what i mean no, and no. there's no reason why you shouldn't have lifelong friendships and i mean i'm going but going to california to hook up with people again who i consider are my family you know and this is from yeah from the 70s we're now in the, the next century we're still all you know all love one another and uh yeah, it's a, it's a special feeling. It's lovely. Now uh, you are you are heading overseas. You're heading yep. over on uh, April. In April, yeah, April. middle of April. And uh, first leg of I guess your visit is is the US. Yeah, going to America, going to California and New York, and be on a, I don't know over 90 radio stations, talking to the media. It'll all be suitably mad. Yeah. Yeah. You've I'm looking forward to it. The Grateful Dead Radio. Yeah, I'm on the Grateful hour. Dead Radio Hour, which is on. I don't know, 72 radio stations, there's six or 700,000 people regularly listen to it every, uh, every week. And I just did an interview with American Online, America Online, you know, AOL, that's going out to something mad, like three and a half million people. So there's, yeah, there'll be a lot of media. And, uh, well, I'm used to dealing with all that, man. We just take it as it comes. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Now, uh, Europe, where, is, is, is then, Europe yeah, in the car? Yeah, I'm going to London and... Uh, very dear friends of mine um, own a hotel in uh, in uh, London. They're called, from a band called Iron Maiden, a small band. Yeah. Bless them. They sold about 130 million albums. They own a hotel in London. They very kindly offered to uh, do me a book launch at their hotel, so I should be with people from Iron Maiden, and goodness knows who else would show up in London. So that'll be a yeah another version of the rock and roll dream. Could be another book by the time yeah. we finished all this. Who knows, Seriously? man? Yeah, really. Could be another book. It'll certainly be a bunch of blogs. I uh, I blog regularly. You know, write a blog. People, a lot of people follow it. So uh, in the few few minutes that I have uh, to myself, God knows when, I shall write blogs about it and post it on the net at uh, 
www.samcutler.com. Yep. You can go there and uh, read all about it. Da, 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 da. La, da, da.